doing here? Looking for Zangetsu. Have you seen him? Yes. We fought together aboard the train. Perhaps I misjudged his intentions. What? Zangetsu was with you. But that's... Is something wrong? I asked him to go to the underground sands, but he must have chosen to disregard that request. If you see him again, would you ask him to report back to me? All right. Alfred could spring a trap on any one of us at any time. I hope Zangetsu gets his priorities straight. Thank you, Miriam. And stay safe.
beat you.
certain to return what you borrow. This is a library, not a bookshop. Have you learned anything new? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Another message arrow has arrived from Zangetsu in this chamber where the bell tolls. Seek the demon woman basking in blood. A female vampire, perhaps? Hmm. Vampires drink blood. They don't bask in it. Wait, there's more. The room was an ocean of gore. From some grisly battle, perhaps. And if I'm reading this right, the demon he spoke of was able to instantly collect this blood without laying hand or lips on it. Well, that means even the slightest wound in her presence would put me in danger. She won't be easy to defeat. You had best go in prepared. What are you looking to sell? What are you looking to buy? Is this right? Then we have a deal. What are you looking to sell? Thank you. Come back any time. So there are still demons outside? Oh, they're so scary. <sighs> it's good to see you. What are we transmuting this time?
with this. Great! I like it. I'll go with this. Ooh, I like it. Alfred was your master, wasn't he? Former master. Why? I don't know. I was just wondering if you remember anything about him that I don't. Fair enough. As I recall, he was studying ways of drastically slowing down objects. He was a genius, to be quite honest, but I have no respect for that now. Why not? Because he fought against sacrificing you right to the final moment. Only to change his mind like a coward. I see. Thank you.
you so long. Well, now that you've tasted the power of so many shards, I presume you're ready to join me. You presume wrongly. I'm here to keep my promise to you, and nothing else. What promise? You really have forgotten, then. I swore to you that I would stop you if your Shardbinder power ever manifested itself against your will. You made the same oath to me. Please! You think I wield this power unwillingly? I do. I've known it since our meeting on the Galleon. But there was a moment when I saw a flicker of the real Jeebel beneath all that hate. Fool! I've had enough! If you want to stop me, you'll have to do it by force. Next time, obey. Ha! again tonight.